School of Dreaming and that's got Dream yourself awake, lying on the rocks at the bottom of a cliff as the world stops spinning, staring up at F. Scott Fitzgerald, screaming like you could burst. This is all your fucking fault. This damn romanticism. It was never meant to end like this. Remember times when you could wake from a dream seemingly at will, not wondering what it meant, no vague recollections of massacres, dismemberment, and so much blood. Silent faces stare impassive. Get out of my dream, Scott Fitzgerald! <laughs> Lying at the bottom of the universe that has taken you by force and made you responsible for something you can't remember having done, and that music in your head, these rocks digging into your flesh. This is not real! This is your subconscious fucking with you. This is you gaslighting yourself. I think I'm trying to tell me something. I think Fitzgerald may be a metaphor for what you could be if you weren't so self-destructive you don't want to die like that. I'm lying on the rocks at the bottom of the universe trying not to refer to myself in the third person. I don't want to drink myself to death. But these lights that are blinding, this face staring back at me, these rocks digging into my flesh, have I fallen so far? Tell me why I can't wake up anymore. I used to be able to dream myself awake, but then I used to not dream of F. Scott Fitzgerald. <laughs> It may have been a dream I had, then again, it may not have been. Um, so there's two very short pieces in uh, GDS uh, from whatever year it was. Uh, 2001. 2001. Um, so there's very, two very short Dan Disney pieces in here. Uh, they're both plays, but the plays are about a third of a page uh, and have more uh, stage directions than actual dialogue. Oh, the best ones. I know, they're good, right? Um, so this is uh, The Bus Stop Before Forever, a play by Dan Disney. The audience sits in a bus. The bus has no wheels, is rusted, and is covered in graffiti and moss. Grass and weeds grow through the floor. Father Time, wearing a coffee-stained uniform, sits at the steering wheel. Father Time. Right, we'll go just as just as soon as I get the directions. As he turns to the front again humming, he opens a tin of tobacco. Birds chirp and flutter. The grass grows. Father Time rolls a cigarette and waits. Seasons pass. The audience may leave when appropriate. And the second one. <laughs> Desbians Limited, a play by Dan Disney. The audience is seated on the stage. The play arrives late, apologizes, sits down, coughs politely, waits, shifts in its seat, grows impatient, yawns, and scratches, and finally whispers at a passing gaffer, the play, worst damn thing I've seen in a long time, then makes feeble excuses, an ailing back compounded by a chafing eczema, and departs without further ado. The gaffer scratches a long sideburn, rolls a cigarette. The audience may leave when appropriate. 